World Cup Sunday. show with me, Graham Alexander, and Mark Burchill. So, Mark, the World Cup's three days away. How are you feeling about it? Excited as is probably everyone, in, everyone in Britain. I think I think it's one of the things that we really, really love the World Cup. Which is a pity for us that Scotland are not there, but. I think having England that gives us an interest, you know, to, to watch it, watch it. Really look forward to it. So the longer England stay in, the more interested you'll be. I'm an England fan. I've got to be honest. We are one of the very few Scottish guys that, that support England. You know, I'm not sure I could deal with them winning winning it, but I'm definitely one that we progress and see, get on and go as far as I can. We'll come back to England in a little bit when we cover their group. So. Me and Mark are going to do a little overview of the groups and as the competition goes on we'll be previewing the games on a daily basis. We've also got the Affinity Football Fantasy Football which we're going to be running on the McDonald's official FIFA Fantasy League so make sure that you grab the league code off the screen there and get involved in our league. We've got some great prizes to give away with a main prize which is an overnight stay at Barkeldon Castle up in Oban. £250 value on that one there, Mark. So nice to ha- I'm going to win it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good for it. So there's going to be loads of people involved in our fantasy league, including ourselves. We'll have our, our teams in there as well. Definitely. And I'm sure we'll do a little preview of our teams at some point and Perfect. see why we've picked them. But also tweet in at the little hashtag there and let us know how your team's getting on. Me and Callum Roach are going to be updating you all on the Fantasy League as well. Well, it's a World Cup and we need to make a prediction of who the winner is going to be. So, who do you think, Mark? Obviously, Brazil are the favourites. Uh, I think Brazil are the favourites. Argentina are second favourites, and uh, I think it might be Spain and Germany as the joint third favourite. The two European teams. No one from uh, Europe's ever won a World Cup in South America, so I'm going to stick with a South American team. I'm going to say, I'm going to go for Argentina. That's what. What do you think yourself? I fancy Argentina. I think they've they've got the the key attributes to to get there, but I'm going to be bold. It's not really bold, to be honest. I'm going to go with Brazil and be safe. That's uh, very safe, actually. That, That's very safe. They're the whole home nation. I, I mean, I was going to... I, I did like Argentina, but since you've backed them, I'll, I'll go for Brazil. Okay, well, um, I just think with Messi and Aguero, I think, they're, for me, they're two of the best players in the world at the minute. I think if they perform at all, I think that I think that Argentina can go all the way. I really do. Brazil, I think they've got the, the fans backing them. They've got... a quite an, an unbelievable strike force as well with guys like Neymar and Hulk I think they've got more of a complete package and with the fans behind them being in places like the Maracanã and you've got thousands and thousands of fans behind you that's surely like a 12th man out there Fair enough but I think you've just convinced me even more Hulk and Neymar or uh, Aguero and Messi I don't think it, I think there's only one winner every day of the week The problem for Argentina though is they're almost spoiled with the amount of strikers that they've got how are they going to fit them all in and keep them all happy with Messi Aguero Higuain I, th- I, I don't think Higuain will play if I'm honest I, 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 oh, I know he has, been, he has been playing but I think when it got, gets to the final stages I think we'll have to put an extra midfielder in there and have to play Messi off uh, Aguero so I th- that's what I fancy well it's the finesse and the striking power in Argentina for yourself yeah. And I'm going for just the pure brute strength the Hulk up front for Brazil. <laughs> um, but also, we're talking about strikers there, and you can't miss out the golden boot. Where's it going to go? I think I've got to stick with Messi. I really do. I think that if I, if Argentina go all the way, I think Messi's not a fantastic season this year. But you know, he's he's one of these guys that he pops up and he really surprises you when you're not expecting it. You know, I think he's done it over year after year with Brazil, every eh, Barcelona, sorry. And I, I, I fancy, I fancy Messi and Argentina double. I'm going for the double. That's that's a big shout. I mean, the, Messi, no denying, one of the world's best players, but an out and out goal scorer. I mean, is he going to get the goals that that are required? I mean, it only takes maybe what five. I think five or six goals yeah. normally. When I think that, yeah, out and out goal scorer. I think he's broke almost every record. The rest of breaking goal scorer, and I think he's, you know, he's. He, 
he's uh, an unbelievable finisher. He's not been at his at his top this uh, this time, but the one thing that 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 is probably is there's quite you know astounding is that we're not even mentioning an England player near the go the top goal scorer. Normally every World Cup there's always someone you fancy can he sneak in. We're, we're thinking no chance. There's nobody there. I mean I've I've heard a few people saying Sturridge, but I don't think. I don't think, although they're really good going forward, their group's a bit too difficult. There won't be lots of goals in that group. And there's other groups, we spoke about it before, Benzema with France. I think even in the group of death, Ronaldo's maybe got a better chance of scoring goals in that group than what Sturridge has in the group. I, I think you're right. I think Ronaldo's got to come into it somewhere because if someone gets sent off against Portugal, he can bang in two or three, no problem, because he's that good. So... He's got to be there or thereabouts, but I think I'm going to stick with Messi. Messi, no Spaniards, no anybody else. Messi. No, has I, I, I like Diego Costa, but I'm no. No, I like Diego Costa, but he's not an out and out goal scorer because he's going to be the one that's going to play up front to try and feed the midfielders coming from behind them. But I'm going to stick with Messi. I was fancying Higuain, but like you said there, it's, I'm unsure if he's going to play or not. Um, They've got lots of striking options and just for the pure fact that I know he's going to start every game for France, I'm going to go with Benzema. I think that they've got a weaker group and if they can, can progress a little bit after that, I think he's got a really good chance. I, he's a top, top player, but I'm just not convinced about the French, the French mentality at all. You know, I'm no, I'm not convinced about it. I didn't really fancy them to go that far in the, in the, in the qualif- once they get through the knockout stages, so... A good shout if he can do it though, a good shout. And we obviously we touched on England there again a little bit, they have a really tough group. How far do you see them going in the tournament? I'm hoping they get to the last eight. I think that uh, for the young players they've got, you know, that uh, as I mentioned earlier, you know, I, I mentioned before that they've not completely gelled as a team yet. I think that uh, the manager's trying to get something going, he's trying to get a good attack and flow in football, he's trying to you know, almost sit in and counter attack with pure pace. Uh, I'm not sure where Wayne Rooney fits in that, if I'm honest, because he's not the quickest. You know, he's obviously, but he's such a big name and a big talent that they've got to find a position for him. But I'm, I'm hoping they get into the last day. That's what, that's what I want to get. I, I don't think they've got enough to get to the semi finals, if I'm honest. I've got to agree. I think they're, they're unbelievable going forward. I think that they've got a chance of getting goals, but. Defensively, I mean, they got a clean sheet the other night, but against a team that I think will go out pretty early in the tournament. Yeah, I agree. I just can't see them doing very well in the group. They're up against it, I think, in terms of... I think it's maybe a tournament too soon. It's a great opportunity to give these young guys a chance, experience the big tournament atmosphere, and maybe the Euros next time. I think, yeah, I think you could be right. I, you know, I've tipped them to the top of the group, but, I, 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 you know... I wouldn't be surprised if they were bottom because it's one of the groups as well, you know. But I think I'm being more optimistic rather than <laughs> than than than, than, uh, than proper. What's the word I'm looking for? Proper stats. Yeah. Let's see. Well, that's mine and Mark Burchell's predictions for the World Cup. So stay tuned with us here on Affinity TV for all our previews, reviews, and also the fantasy football. Encourage people to come back and watch Birch. Definitely, I will. You need to try and beat me in the fantasy league, don't you? That's that's the first thing because I'm I fancy myself to win it. Do you think you've got a good chance of winning the fantasy league? Obviously, I do. Yeah. Well, I'll pit my wits against Livingston's assistant manager and see who can finish above each other. All the other staff here at Affinity will be joining in, so make sure you do too. And join us next time on the Affinity Football World Cup. Show.